Hello! I hope you're doing good today. I've got a little story to read to you today. It's just a short one and it's in this lovely book called Fairy Tales and Fantastic Stories and this one's called Katie Make Sure. There was once a little girl called Katie. I'll show you a picture. There she is. There was once a little girl called Katie who found an old shoe inside a hollow tree. It was a funny little shoe with a pointed toe and no more than an inch long. Wonder who it can belong to, she thought, as she slipped it into the pocket of her dress and went on her way. She hadn't gone very far when she heard a sound like this. Tippity-tap, tippity-tap. Tippity tap. She looked round a large oak tree and saw a little goblin hopping around on one foot. Excuse me, she said, but is this your shoe? Well, the goblin danced for joy. At last, he cried, without my shoes, I can't go back to Goblin City. So Katie gave the goblin his shoe and he put it on and danced around the tree singing. Short or long to Goblin City, the straight way's short but the long way's pretty. Then he stopped and said to Katie, If you come with me to Goblin City, the king of the goblins will give you a reward. Well, I could come, said Katie, but how would we get there? The goblin just hopped up and down on one leg and chanted, Short or long to Goblin City, the straight way's short but the long way's pretty. But how do I know if it's worth going the pretty way, or if it will take too long? The goblin jumped in the air, twirled around three times, before he landed on one toe and said, Short or long to Goblin City, the straight way's short, but the long way's pretty. How can I be sure it's not better to go the short way? asked Katie. The goblin jumped in the air, landed on his head, span around and round like a top, until he disappeared into the ground and then reappeared just behind Katie, and cried, Short or long to Goblin City, the straight way's short, but the long way's pretty. How can I be sure I like it, whichever way we go? asked Katie. The goblin did a somersault, and landed on one finger, and then he snapped his finger so hard, that he rose up into the air, up and up, and then came tumbling down, and landed in a dandelion puffball, and cried, Goblin City's far and near! If you want to make sure, you better stay here. And with that, a puff of wind caught the dandelion and scattered it to the four corners of the world. And the goblin was gone too. And poor Katie never went to Goblin City either way. I hope you enjoyed that one from Fairy Tales and Fantastic Stories. Have a lovely day.